my name is Jussi Pakkanen, I'm, I'm the, the project lead for the Mission Build system. Um, and if you read the CPP Reddit, the current um, most uh, talked about thing there is um, uh, about ABI. It's like, should we break the ABI is, is, is the wrong question. So that, that was written by me as well. Uh, but we're not going to talk about ABIs today, uh, but instead something um, uh, more beginner friendly. So, so starting with quiz. But, but first, so I've also written a book on how to use the Mesen, and I'm going to give it for free for all the people in this conference. So there's the link. Uh, it's going to uh, show up again at the end of the, the presentation. So you can just go there and download it. And, and it's about 300 pages PDF. Go for it. Um, the link will stay valid until the end of the conference. Uh, but for the actual thing, so um, when you talk to people about like getting started with programming, and usually what you hear is something like, well, C++ is hard and, and like setting it up is hard. And if you want to do graphical apps, it's even harder because like you can do terminal applications, but if you want to do graphics, then it's bad. And it's just the worst, right? But is it? So like we've heard this many times, but, but so it's, this is actually the case. So let's, let's see. Let's try to build a beginner friendly thing from existing piece that we have. So if you uh, listen to the CPP cast podcast, so there was a, a uh, an episode about the one low encoder pixel game engine a few weeks ago. So it's a single header, uh, full game engine for graphics and so on. It's about 5,000 lines. And the idea is that you take the, the header file, copy it in your own thing, and then you just include that you run. It works pretty well, um, but then you need to set it up. Uh, and, and it's actually quite simple to use. So here's an example of, of the sample application that they have, is that you inherit from the, the base class of, of the Pixel Game Engine, and then you create these three functions where you, you set it up, and then on user update, once per frame, you get called, and then you can draw whatever you want. In this case, it's just drawing just random number, uh, pixels. Uh, then, the second problem is that you need to load PNG images or any sort of external graphics. And the way the, the thing is set up is that on Windows, there's, there's operating system functionality uh, somewhere in the, in the Win32 API where you can just load PNG images. On Linux, you're supposed to use system Linux PNG. And on Mac, you have to combine, compile the PNG from scratch because um, as far as I know, that there's no system built-in uh, helper of functionality for that. And this already gets a bit, bit tricky because you need to download, need to compile, need to set up all sorts of different things about uh, like platform specific things. It's not very nice. Um, but uh, let's just do that. So, so how would you build that in Mesen? So what we follow is not slide code, it's actual real code. This is like production ready code, all that you would need to write to get this running on all three platforms. So there, this is it. Um, it's like a, it's a bit of work, there's different sorts of things, uh, but it's, it's kind of readable. You can understand what's happening in there, which is, which is kind of nice. It's a thing that you would want from your build definition. And here is uh, compiling on Linux. So on this Qt creator, we just create new project, copy the URL for the, for the Git repo and then just run it. And, and then, then Qt Creator has all the integration, it does everything out of the box. Here's the same thing, running on, on Visual Studio. Um, it works pretty well. Um, it's a generated Visual Studio project. You can use all the built-in tools. Here's the same thing on Xcode, again, generated automatically out of the box. Uh, this was started working since the last version of Mesa was released this weekend. And it works and you can use the debugger and all that. And the feature is actually kind of nice because the whole thing builds in one second, which is what you wouldn't expect from C++. It's just like, it's done. You don't need any external package managers. Mesen does all the downloading and unpacking and, and things automatically and only when it's necessary. So it's only used on, on OS 10. And on all the code that you have is actually readable. You can understand, it. even if you're a beginner, you can go through it and, and understand what's happening. There's no magic, it's like, well, you set these things in here. No, no, it's just like, it's simple. That's what you expect. Uh, and you can dive in deep as you want. You don't have to, which is what you want in a, like a learning environment. And the best part is that you could use 
best in class IDs because of the, the uh, things that come with like Visual Studio and Creative Creator, they are actually really good. And then when you can put these all, all together, it's like, it's not the worst. This is actually like the best. This is really good. And, and it's like, well, well, maybe you can do something nice about it. Again, so here's the link. Uh, and this is the end of my presentation. And, and time for the next person.